interview with some of the artists who had a chance to drop in for the cipher. Uh, without further ado, introducing David Sincere, Dex McBean, Shaw Hollywood, and hopefully we got Burns Biggity dropping in on us in a bit. All New York natives or all from the East Coast, New York, ringing in loud and proud. Uh, yo, I had to ask y'all to join me for a special interview because I personally feel like this cypher that y'all created for Halloween is fucking amazing. So without further ado, let's talk with um, David Sincere. And we're going to get to everybody. David Sincere Aiken, you've been blazing the House Hill airwaves. You've been blazing the music pathways and all this good stuff with your creativity. And um, we recently spoke on Fresh Fridays, our newest sh uh, show on House Hill Network, right? So Absolutely. This, you, you held out, you didn't mention about the cypher. You were told you to no secret. So talk to me a little bit about what this Halloween cypher is, what the special is, and what was your inspiration behind it? All right, so, I, you know, basically, um, you know, as I'm transitioning into doing music from being a choreographer, you know, oh, shoot, I lost light. Oh, no, I'm still good. All right. So as I'm transitioning from like, you know, being um a choreographer into like really doing my music and promoting my music and getting my music out there, you know, um a lot of times people be like, yo, you always got dance music. Like I wanna see like, you know what I mean? Some versatility within your style, you know what I mean? Cause I'm always doing the dance music. I got the kids dancing, I got dancers behind me. It's always like a big dance production. So I was like, you know what? I should flip it up, you know what I mean? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something where it's like no dancing and it's really rap where people could listen to me and I could highlight other artists that I like as well. You know what I'm saying? So right. along my path, I have met um Shaw, Dex, and Burns. And I was like, yo, they were just perfect fits. So when I asked them, like right away, all of them say yeah. So I was like, oh, this is gonna be dope. You know what I mean? So um Halloween was coming, you know what I mean? And you know, I love themes. I love Halloween. I just love themes. So I was like, yo, it'd be dope if we like kind of flip it and do like our favorite, you know what I mean, characters, you know what I'm saying? So I told each one, like, pick your character and just rap about it. And, you know what I mean? Kind of like um, a game of charades. Yep. And I, and what he's talking about, everybody, uh, when you guys get to tune into the cypher later on, is each of the artists, each of you guys, were actually different Halloween characters. I felt like I saw, um, I don't even know some of their names, a Michael Myers, a Jigsaw, a Freddy Krueger. I saw a few different people going on up in there. Um, what I will say, and, and note to that, David, is that the graphics was pretty cool. Did you have part in that? Did you do the graphics, like, with the artist, or was that some visual effects at the studio when you were recording, or what? So the thing, the thing is that, um, so where we shot it at was at Eminem Studios. Shout out to Eminem Studios. Um, the, the, um, they have, the way they have their studio is set, they have, like, curtains as their backgrounds, right? So it was, like, either a green one, a black one, and a white one. And um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling like how the curtains was looking. So I was like, let's just get rid of the curtains and let me just see how the back wall looked. And the back wall was very plain, but it just was kind of like something raw about it. You yeah. Know I mean, that I like. Yeah. So I was like, all right, let's use this back wall. But then when I actually was like looking back at the footage, it was annoying me. <laughs> like the wall was annoying me. I was like, yo, it's just like not enough. I can't feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I like started thinking like, yo, it needs like some effects, some AI effects on it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where how that like thought and process came about. Shout out to AI. Clearly you uh, are being innovative. It looks dope. I can't wait for the world to see it. Um, how now you spoke a little bit about the artists that you encountered on the way to this whole process for the cipher. Do you know Shaw and Burns and Dex before this? Or how did you get inspired to choose each one for the cipher individually? Well, I actually, um, well, Shaw, I actually, yo, it's crazy. I met Shaw and Dex the same day. I met oh, them both the same God. day at, um, on Jamaica Avenue. I was, I was doing a show at the Jams Festival. Dex was performing at the Jams Festival as well. And Shaw came with one of my dancers, um, Rich Millie. Shout out to Rich Millie. He Shout brought Shaw, you know what I'm saying? And I actually met both of them and connected with both of them that day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And Burns actually met on um Beagle, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes, you know, I'll be just on Beagle scouting talent. And if I see, like, or hear something, I'll be like, yo, mm -hmm. I locked it in. You know what I'm saying? So he was somebody that I just locked in from Beagle. That I was like, all right, he's actually talented. And I heard some of his music. I was like, you know what I mean? Order back around. And it was just perfect. Yo, 
That's a creative way to network. And uh, thanks for breaking that down. So we kind of had a little bit of backstory on how you all met. Um, Shaw Hollywood. First of all, welcome. <laughs> I love the name. Oh. Hollywood. Uh, how you doing? You good? I'm good. I'm doing good. Okay, cool. So, Sha, uh, what was your first feeling when you got that call from Sincere, from David, about, yo, I want you to hop on this Halloween party. What was going through your mind? Let us know a little bit about that. I'm not going to lie. I was going to cry. I was going to cry. And I'm just sitting down like, <laughs> like, I've never been on a cypher. I've been a music artist for three years. So this is like my fourth year, actually, like, really getting into, into music, which is like finding my style, finding it more of who I am, more of what I want to rap about. So um, when I got that message from David, I was just like, I never looked big. Like somebody just asked me a week ago and I dubbed them. But then when David asked me, it was like, this is meant for me. Like, this is my time to, you know, shine. This is my time to give what I got to the world because how did he pick me and there's many other artists that's, you know, upcoming too, but I got chosen. So I took it and I ran with it. I'm not going to lie, I ran. I was going to say, and just from me having the privilege to see it before it drops tonight, you did the damn thing, you know. Uh, I want to tell all the dudes in the cypher and everybody that's going to see it, give you your crown because you deserve it, you know, and, and kudos and salute to you for pursuing your art. Thank you. I know it's not an easy thing. Um, you are the only female in this cypher. So did you feel like you had to get some balls or grow some balls for this? Or I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> like you. you know like, it scares me because I was saying that in the cipher, I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like, hold on, like, I don't feel, you know what, like, how do I say it, like, these, like, their, their, their spirits, dumb as a person, didn't make me feel as if it was a competition, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I love energies like that, where I could just walk in the room and be like, I don't even gotta get like nervous for a quick sec. I was sweating a little bit, but that's not that's normal. You feel me? But they had me so comfortable where I was just like, all I want to do is match with what they say. You know what I'm saying? Because the flow, the flow was so. I don't know. It was just like everything was there, but I'm from the Bronx, and I'm gonna keep saying this to everybody. So, me being from the Bronx, you don't really find people that's gonna just come as a whole and then do a whole song together and then somebody messes up nobody got mad at each other we were just encouraging like they're really encouraging each other to really get the song done and i wanted to cry i'm like can we teamwork you know what i'm saying when we done because we really <laughs> tried 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 just to get and i think that was all of our first ciphers so i'm like yeah i just feel like i was a main for it and i think, think that this was cypher <laughs> yeah dex first cypher so oh you you so Dex, be nice. Dex be is, nice. He different. So, and then that he's. I'm sorry. He different. I mean different. Well, listen, y'all go, y'all, and what she's saying is he's different. He's done a lot of ciphers. He's the experience. He's got that. Got that. Got that. If you get what she's saying, and y'all gonna see that tonight on the Davis and Sear Halloween special 2023, which I'm excited for y'all to check out. Uh, Dex McBean, which is a dope ass name. It sounds like an artist rapper name, if you will. You, <laughs> you obviously are getting your flowers early, uh, and I give and giving them to you as well. I just saw. I, we haven't known each other, obviously, um, but from me seeing the cipher, I saw and I see that you have a lot of talent as well as the others. Your flow and cadence just is just different. So I'm pushing all of y'all to keep going. I got a couple questions for you though, Dex. Um, they've mentioned that you've been in the whole cipher ring and you know been around. Do you have any? Well, I guess what made this one different? Like, because you've been through so many ciphers and have been out there for a while, what made this one different for you? Um, the the approach that 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 Sensei had to it, you know, I only met Sensei over the summer, like in in passing. He saw my set and I saw his set, and we, after after the, the performance, he was like, "Yo, you fire!" I was like, "Nah, you fire too, bro." You know, and, and we connected from there. And then when he approached me about the cipher, like. The way that he 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 said he was like yeah you know we're doing a Halloween cipher and I want it to be like this everybody pick a character and anybody that knows me and follows the way that I rap I I'm I'm a topic rapper I will you give me anything and I will, <laughs> I'm gonna rap the shit out of it you know I think it's I'm different so, like so this uh, nah shy he was killing girl he was killing. 
Did that help uh, you with your character decks? Your Halloween character for the cipher? Um, it didn't help. But I appreciated it because it's, it's what I do normally, and not a lot of people are on that type of time and where they're like, you know what, nah, we gonna write about a theme. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna pick something, and then this is what it is. It's, it's like a rap. I'm in, a, I'm in an interview. Hold on. Yeah, it's like a rap, rap dissertation, rap essay, right? It's like, I, right, you know, what we writing about? All right, Halloween characters, global warming, like you know, and yeah. and his approach to that, I really appreciated that. You know, coming in. And getting a link with Sean and, and Burns, like that was absolutely dope too. You know, they, they came in with, with the bars and they came with the energy. And we, it's like, it wasn't even like we all just met, you know, we were just there doing our thing. Right, agreed. And 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 to that point, um, I enjoyed it so much and ready for the world to see it and enjoy it as well that I'm ready for the Thanksgiving cipher and the Christmas cipher. So uh, sincere, be putting that- all the holiday I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but honestly speaking, um what that that cypher that we did not a lot of people did that so if we do keep it as a trend david you know what you you the one that that came to us with the plan you know what i'm saying you the mastermind behind what everything that? that's going on nobody yeah. did a halloween cypher nobody did a halloween cypher Give not them. even not even we a halloween did. we did we did like come on like two the hours of looking at me Yo, keep that in mind. And I do have something planned. I do have something planned for Thanksgiving too. I do want to do another one for Thanksgiving. I do. I don't want to say too much about it too because if you talk too much, people will steal your shit and they'll exactly. do it before you or they'll do it with you. It's like it's like damn. I don't, I didn't even get to release my shit yet, so I gotta I'm even good. by saying I'm doing a Thanksgiving one is giving away too much already. But no, girl, no. you know what I mean. Okay. Well, let's let's savor and enjoy this one uh, for Halloween 2023. If you're just tuning in, we are here with the artist of. The Davis and Sear Halloween Special 2023, which is premiering tonight on the House Hill Entertainment Networks. You can also find it on Davis and Sears YouTube, on Instagram, anywhere that's associated with the Sincere Society. Um, David, now, since you've been so involved in all this stuff, you know, I've, we've talked about your beats before in previous interviews. This specific beat that was chosen for the cipher is out of this world. All of y'all sounded in pocket and in y'all just, I don't know, bag. But where did this beat come from? Or talk to us a little bit about the track. All right, so I actually had this beat for like a couple of years. I ain't gonna hold you. I had to be for a couple of years. Um, it started out with um I was like, um, it was the ice, it was a blend of me listening to you know that song, um, damn. Shit, I, I gotta get it in my head. It's that it's that old school song from the Bronx when the Bronx was going against Queens. Oh, you know what I'm talking bridge, about? Bridge is over. How the bridge over beat go? Man, you asking for a lot from my memory right now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking I know, about? The, the bridge is over. I know that's the bridge the is over. I know, I know what about the bridge is over. The bridge is over. Right? Yes, the over. The that beat, over. yeah, that beat, yeah, that's that beat is like I love that shit right there. So it came from a blend of me loving that beat and um, Fifty Cent, How to Rob. You know what I'm saying? So when I went to my producer, I was like, "Yo, these are the two sounds I'm looking for. Like, I need this and this." You know what I'm saying? And I just need, you know what I mean? So. When he did that, I actually wrote a How to Rob Freestyle to it. You know what I'm saying? That's mm. And then from there, I was just like, I love this beat. I was like, yo, this this beat, I love this beat. And um, I want to use that shit more and more. Like, I know a lot of artists like to use their beat for one thing. Like, they use their beat for a song, and that's it. But now, I want to use my beat for multiple things. You know what I'm saying? I want my beats to sit a little more. You know what I'm saying? Rather than it being waited for later for somebody else to sample my shit, I'm going to sample my own shit. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, Shaw Hollywood, back to you. Since you and Sincere just dropped a hot new record for fall called Samurai, which is crazy, crazy, crazy. Go to her page, Shaw Hollywood. You'll see the link in the interview, in the official interview. Um, when it drops, what? Yeah, talk to us a little bit about that record, Samurai. I so like honestly speaking, you know, um, being a musical artist is not easy. 
And it's not something that a lot of people would put their life into or not even put their life put one full week into actual music and not just going to the studio because that's not music. You know, you got to sit there, and actually listen, think about what you want to say, think about the character you want people to, you know, look at you as. So basically, I feel like when... Um, and that wasn't even my topic. Like that's again was David's idea. Um, he was like, "We should have topic, like, you know, cut off season, like cut off." Okay, so like um, I was saying before, um, it's it's like hard being a musical artist, especially like um, when you like I want to say I do music by myself, but it's hard, you know, like when it comes to like. A lot of things when it comes to music, some people really be having downfalls to the point where they can't even, or they'll be like, oh, da -da -da, whatever the hell. But basically, like, um, I take my music really serious, and I had went through something that was really crazy. I'm not going to say too much about it because I'm alive today, so it's like no need to put nobody on blast. But basically, like, um, people was just jealous and envious of me, and um, I feel like I went so crazy on that track because, like, I was mad, like I was angry, like you know what I'm saying, like I'm upset, like I dead. I think I told David too. I'm like, this is the perfect time because I'm like something really just happened to me like the day before. So the next day I'm already in the studio, like okay, I'm um, send David this beat, but that beat is nice, but certain beats I I don't feel comfortable doing it by myself when I need that energy. So I'm like, David, like which one of these you like? He was like, I like this one. Cut off, and it's fucking crazy because I'm listening to the song now I would have never thought we that we used that beat because I couldn't do that beat by myself you know what I'm saying so when okay. he was like samurai like cut off season I'm like oh right. I'm about to go dumb like you about to go so it was I kept hearing that I kept hearing that, that um I kept hearing that shrink in the music that's yeah. why I kept hearing that shrink in the beat and so that's what that's what so let me get it you had a situation without having you relive it and go through those uh, emotions again. You were still able to work through the trials and tribulation and adversity of having to go through some traumatic stuff the previous day. You didn't let it get to you. And you went in the studio. You was like, yo, sincere, I got these two tracks, which one you like, and y'all made it happen. So you pretty much went off of his vibe, right? Yeah, like I had like I was my mind was so shocked from what. I had to experience that. I couldn't really think, but I knew I wanted to go to the studio. I just, like, for me and him, me and Cecilia was supposed to work a long time ago, but every time we're, God, we're supposed to work, something happens to me. So once that happens to me, and I'm like, I'm still alive. I'm going to the studio today, and what topic you want to do it? Once he said cut off season, I'm like, nobody really said a song, but, like, I almost got a line by it. Like, nobody really used that language, but Lying, getting lined by a leg is clearly like a girl trying to set you up. You know what I'm saying? So everything I said on the song was so real that I just went crazy. And then I said it to David and he said it to me. I'm like, well, why? She said that shit, shit, shit. All I said was cut off season, <laughs> cut people off. And she sent that shit so quick. I was like, oh shit, I gotta get I gotta get in the studio. I gotta get in the studio. Gotta... And so even shit. even your flow on it, uh sincere is different and, and and not different but it's just crazy it's 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 dope Wait, oh, yeah, it's new for me because that was like um, a drill that was like a drill type of thing huh yeah but he sent me a voice note um i can't play the voice note right now but he sent me a voice note and he was this is all he said cut him off samurai oh my head is good die tell them this don't fuck with me Give him a chance in the eye. And then my, my producer. Oh, yeah. Was, yes. Um, I'm sitting there. I'm like, first of all, I'm listening. I sure did send you like, that voice note. I forgot about that. Yeah, he sent me a voice note. Mind you, no lyrics, no nothing, just off the beat. And then he was like, I'm thinking the samurai. So when my man's listen to it, like I played it, my man's just like, who's that? I'm like, right? Like, what the fuck? We about to get busy. Now, I'm, now I know what to yeah. do. But it was only them three lines. Cut them off. Samurai on my head is good. Die. And then I'm like, all right, shit. Die. I'm trying to die. Right. Like, <laughs> Yo, that's that ain't even low key. That's high key, like 2024 anthem. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I'm going to um, promote it as much as I can from the household entertainment side. If you are just tuning in, what we are talking about is the 2023 David Sincere Halloween Cypher that's coming to y'all tonight in just a few hours. 
on the House Hill Entertainment Network, also on all of Davis and Sears outlets and his pages. We got Shaw Hollywood. We got Davis and Sears in the building. We got Dex McBean, and we are missing Burns Biggity, who did his thing on the cypher as well. Um, before we get on up out of here, there's a couple other things that I wanted to get, uh, you know, while I got y'all here. Dex, um, pressure. Let's talk about pressure for a bit. Uh, we talked about you running the circuit, doing your thing uh, in the ciphers, and kind of just being a king of the ring, if you will. Did you feel pressure going into this cipher and as far as the place you were in? Like, you know, if for you guys, did you feel like a certain way or any pressure being in, in a certain place or were you okay? Like you, you just went into it like, you know, Goliath and, and what's Goliath? You just mentioned it. <laughs> How did you feel, uh, Dex? I mean, uh, I, I generally feel pressure on anything that I do, you know, but not from the surroundings just from myself, because I always want to just, just execute and perform it at the highest level that I can in my highest ability. Um, but once I get over that, it's like, you can put me anywhere on the track. I'm a, I'm, I, I've already put it in my brain of what I'm going to do, no matter where I'm at, you know? Um, and I was really just more, I was, I was excited. Like, honestly, when I get on tracks and cycles with most people, I like to go first, you know, I like, I like to set it off. Um, but you know, David, David was there, I, you know, it's, it's, it, he put it, he, he masterminded it all. I was like, nah, David got to go first, you know? And, um, and after that, I was just, I was, I was entranced and just excited to hear how everybody else was coming off, you know? Yeah. Um, and, uh, from there, it just, you know, it, it just felt, it felt natural. It felt good. It felt, it felt like that's how it was supposed to go. And, and great. Uh, fact, you definitely closed it down real, real, real good. That shit was fire. Yeah. 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 He took it home for real. He came with the gun in his pocket and it was loaded already, and he just popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that was pretty good. <laughs> he was ready. I, I feel like we all synced together too, really nice and really well with the teamwork we was doing because you can't do nothing without teamwork. And when we kind of heard each other, like, you know, sliding off for the cypher, we will all be like, da, 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 da. I'm start getting crazy. And then, you know, back when they rap and get back on track, it right. was so amazing. I would do it a thousand times. So let me ask you this. <laughs> Who would you say are some of a couple, uh, if you will, of your musical influences? Who has influenced you in your sound, or will you say it's just self-taught, um, uh, self-made? Uh, as far as my sound itself, it it's a I would I would have to say it's a collaboration of all of my favorite MCs, their styles, as well as myself. You know. Yeah. Um, you you're not gonna hear a song where I sound exactly like Jay Z or Big or or Eminem, but you may hear pieces of of those types of styles when I you know when I do certain things because those those are the people that I look up to when it comes to to not just the flows and the rapping but also the writing. Got it. And the stories behind that the pen. Yeah. Um, you just you just made my heart melt. Like that's my inspirations too, which is so crazy, but. You could tell when he raps. You understand what I'm saying? You could you could dead tell who he probably like looks up to. And I, Eminem was the first person I thought of because I mean, he's just different. We that, that to to be honest, and it's funny that y'all say that because you know we see all these interviews over the years, and we know artists, we know music, and we know all that. But I have never heard a male black artist be compared to Eminem. And y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I think <laughs> well, but I have never heard that. I've never heard it. It's either a Kendrick or a Drake or a Cole or a Big Sean or a Big or Jay Z. You know, Nas, whoever. But that's a that's that's a great nod. Three AM is the first song that came to my head when I think of Eminem. Three AM. Um, not sure if y'all familiar with that. Anyway, moving forward, uh, um, Dex, bars. Give me one bar from your freestyle if you can remember it and explain a little bit about it. One bar, and I'm gonna ask you guys as well, but give me one bar from your freestyle mm -hmm. from my cypher and explain that bar. Uh, I don't even know, man. I would say, uh, you leaving you stranded on, on deserted on an aisle with West now, your mistress and ex-spouse and thousands of venomous reptiles on that foul. Wow. Woo! Um, <laughs> 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 
I, like, I, I just, just kind of room. Okay, good. It was a. Uh, I like I like alliteration, you know, and that was just so many owls right after each other, and everything that I thought of, I was like, damn, that sucks. Like you want to. You on a, a deserted aisle with West Nile? Now you got West Nile. You sick? And then <laughs> with, with your now you got your mistress dead. So, <laughs> and then your ex wife, your ex spouse is dead. And then now now there's thousands of venomous reptiles. God damn! Whoever put you there, that that motherfucker's foul. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's clever and genius right there. And I love the wordplay. Me and David were talking about it in our last interview. Um, if you haven't you guys haven't checked it out, Fresh Fridays. Um, where we were talking about the wordplay and how some artists use their words. And David, you shared how some of your lyrics, you like to have people to really think about the different meanings behind one bar. Like one bar can have multiple meanings. So to hear you talking about somebody in the aisle with West Nile, you know, going into this other stuff, it's like, yo, I'm still on the aisle, West Nile, I'm picturing that. So genius, brother, genius, genius, genius. And I'm excited for the world to experience everything Dex McBean on the cypher. Uh, Shaw Hollywood in the building. Give me one of your bars and the explanation behind it. Um, I was like, I was like, you wonder what, but I'm gonna show you how to even sticks. You throw out rocks, but I'm gonna show you how to hold a brick. So basically, I said that because you know how you grow up and they always like. Y'all probably heard the suits. I'm a little younger than y'all, but sticks and stones can't break your bones, something like that, sticks and stones, whatever. I don't really know how it goes. I just know it sticks and stones, something won't hurt me, you know what I'm saying? But um, basically, like, I didn't really like that phrase, like, sticks and stones don't break my bones, but the words, whatever. So I'm like, can I change it up until, like, y'all be talking about, like, a stick and stone, if it don't hurt you, you can't, like, it can't break you. It can't break you, but it can hurt you. But I don't even, I don't get, I don't get, I don't feel nothing when the stick hits me because I eat them shits, you know what I'm saying? I eat them, like, you should, you, like, I throw the brick, <laughs> like, I'm going to show you how to hold a brick, like, I'm not explaining, like, this and stones can't hurt me, you can throw a brick at me, you can throw a stick at me, that shit not going to hurt. I'm going right. to eat that shit, and then I'm going to come to your house, I'm grab your head, and I'm going to roll it like dice, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. right. I'm kind of aggressive on it. <laughs> went off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Giving him a little something. Okay. Um. Thank you. Thank you. And Dex, David, since you're Aiken in the building, the creator and obviously founder of the Cypher, the Halloween Cypher, the first to ever do it in hip hop, marking that today. Uh, give me one of your bars from the freestyle <laughs> and what the, the explanation behind it, because we know you're the wordsmith as well. So what is the bar? What's one of your bars and explain that? So really, actually, when I was doing this, um, writing this freestyle, I wasn't really um writing bars like that. I was really trying to intro the project, if you know what I'm saying. So the bars was really coming. I I told everybody to pick a character, right? Because I wanted to play charades, right? So that's why my character was Jigsaw, because that's what he does. He plays the game, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I started off the whole joint with, let's play a game. Guess who I am? I'm a nightmare. Wake you up. Stuck in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, that's the whole jigsaw thing. It's like, we playing the game. And I want you to guess who I am. Just like I want you to guess who all of us are because we playing this game. And that's what jigsaw would do. He would set us all up in a trap to play this game. And if you don't guess, you die. Right? If you don't mm -hmm. get it right, you die. Some shit like that. Right? And I think that's his line. Let's play a game. So, like, that's like, you know what I mean? So... Like, my bars was more so coming off of, like, setting the scene rather than being, like, a straight sentence bar. It was more of a feeling bar. It was more of a set of scene. Like, you know what I mean? I was just trying you to know, That's the... what it's given. It's like, you play with me. Nigga, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm the, I'm the king of this bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I set the fucking rules. Like, but that was scary, scary vibe. That really bring out the Halloween vibe, though, because... Ever since then, I'm waiting for Halloween. Fucking waiting for Halloween. I don't like Halloween, but I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's actually I'm one of my waiting. favorite ho holidays. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I love Halloween. And then Jason, I think that was mad. That was crazy. He was like, go oh, pick a character. And then we all that came, like Jason, Freddy, Jigsaw, and then he was the, what, what was next? The Boogeyman. Oh, yeah, I was about to say the book. I used to be scared of the boogeyman. 
when I was young, I used to be that scared of that. I'm not scared no more. But it was so perfect too, because Dex like is like he, um like after you see who we all were, he actually took you through mad characters. So if you really listen, he took you through mad characters. Like so, he really wrapped it up. Where it was like he ain't leave no. Who is he? Who out, is he? Like, Yo, the whole, the whole thing. If I if I could say real quick, this is the highlight of my Halloween. Is this cipher? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's either getting my costume together or it's the cypher. And I choose both. But uh, the cypher is definitely on the top of my list. Y'all get ready for the treat of y'all life this evening. I'm hoping that we can see more of it. It's going to leave y'all wanting more. Uh, with that in mind, you can follow each one of these guys individually on the Instagram page, which will be dropped in this video. Um, before we get up on out of here, though, because... You work so much. You can all work so much. Uh, sincere, you're everywhere. Um, this was something new and random and fresh for this Halloween cipher. Do you know when the next time we'll see another one from the Sincere Society? I know we spoke a little bit about it earlier and you don't want to give too much away. But is this something that you at least plan on doing annually, possibly? Or, you know, give us a little bit of something. Stay tuned. No, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, Dave. definitely got to stay, stay tuned. tuned. But answer. I'm definitely going getting more into um production and film. So you're definitely gonna see more um production and films and um editing and graphic designing and AI working and you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna see more um yeah, you're gonna see more. Love, more love. and more. I'm okay with you know that. I mean? I'm okay with that answer. If I can share with our listeners and viewers here, we were talking offline earlier, guys, about Sometimes keeping things to yourself until it hatches because you never know who's watching and listening. Um, but they are always watching and listening, but you just don't know who. Um, before we go, Dex, you got any shout outs you want to give? Anybody? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely shout out Dave, shout out um Shy, shout out Burns Biggity. Um Burns. look out for my, for, for my project, uh Wealth, which is uh the first financial literacy album. Uh, it's right. Wealth, we all live to hustle. It's dropping uh, mm-hmm. Juneteenth, twenty twenty four, and um, you know everybody can check that out on wealthymusic.com. No, let's that's get it. You heard it first here. On we Al- need that too. We need wealth. You know what I'm saying? So that's a good educational album right there. Yes, it is. Trademark that if you haven't already, because uh, that's yeah. a that's a hobby. Yeah. Uh, Shaw Hollywood, who you got to shout out? I got a big shout out, and I waited to the end to say this one. Um. Um, I really appreciate David putting me on this cipher. So I think um when I went to the Steve Wilco show, I went like two days after I did the show with David. And um I was on the Steve Wilco show and he had me perform a song. So the easiest song that I did was a Halloween cipher. So when it comes out <laughs> and on TV, I did like um David had like introduced me to the cipher and, and he had me join the cipher. So I'm just gonna re sing that cipher for you guys today and Everybody loved it. Like when I tell you, oh, yeah. I was the, the same reaction that I'm getting from y'all. I got it ten times crazier from the Steve Vocals cast. So when it does air on TV, I did put a little in support for all of us. So when you know when it comes out, everything come out at the same time because I think after the traffic comes out, I, my my TV show comes out, and I know they're gonna be looking for that shit too. So everything yeah, is fire. Just, I'm yes. fire. Timing is everything. So that's dope. Mm-hmm. Blessings and well wishes on all of the success, you know, everything going on. So that sounds great. Looking forward to it. Um, creator, celebrity, choreographer, musician, rapper, Queens native, the owner of Queens Finest Dance Team Company. What shout outs you got, brother? Any any shout outs you got for the people? Yo, I want to definitely, definitely shout out Dex, Shot, and Burns. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they put in the work. You know what I mean? They definitely put in the work. You know what I'm saying? And for free. It's not like I paid anybody. You know what I'm saying? So it's real. You don't ever real, need this is real. Ever, you know what I'm saying? Ever. This is real talent, real from the streets, real love of the art and of the music. You know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like if, if more people work like that, more people could grow together and there'll be more artists out here that could just make more money, make nah, more F wealth. Them, you know what I'm saying? F them. We taking over and that's just that. I don't care. Uh, like I love all every artist that's coming up, but if y'all can't sit in a room and put anything y'all got going to the side to work and to actually get things done, like he said, we did this for free. For uh, free. Like, come on. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just work, teamwork, motivation, stay together. 
Yeah. And we got 95 minutes. Sorry, and honestly, no, that's what it's about. I appreciate that on our exit out because, like you said, more people need to be working like that. But until they get to working like that and can get that, this crew right here got it. We got it. So I'm happy for y'all. Congratulations on tonight's Halloween cipher. That's going to be amazing. I'm excited for the world to see it, David. I'm proud of you. And congratulations again on just another introduction to something epic that hasn't been done before. I give you your flowers, as the drink champs like to say. Shaw Hollywood got mm -hmm. a little clip, a little shout out for tonight. That's Burns Biggity. 95 minutes and we on the fucking map. Like 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on HouseHillEntertainment.com. YouTube, houseentertainment.com, David Sincere, Aiken, Instagram. Dex, drop your Instagram before we get out. And also, Sha too. Mute. <laughs> Mute. Uh, my Instagram is Dex McBean, D E X M C B E A N. Dex McBean on everything, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, MySpace, uh, <laughs> well, the whole thing. <laughs> yo, Sha, I was like, yo, watch right, right. I was like, how am I going to get that too? Now you need tracks. I'll put you on my top eight. You, you, you lit. Yeah. <laughs> what the freak? Uh, what's your Instagram and any handles that you have so our listeners and fans can follow you? My Instagram is I am Shaw Hollywood too. Um, my my YouTube I am Shaw Hollywood. Um, every everywhere you can find me Shaw Hollywood. If you can't find me by that Shaw Hollywood too, and. Talk to me nice and don't talk at all. Yeah, I already know what we're doing. Like, I like that. David Sincere, where can the people find you at before we get on up out of here? Yeah, they can on find stage. me um, on all platforms on stage. Nah, but yeah, um, you know, my, I'm on Instagram. You know, I'll be posting up all the time. But don't confuse me with, there's another David Sincere, and he's a photographer. <laughs> and a lot of people be tagging him, and he loves it too. But nah, he's cool to um, yeah, I, that's one of my boys, but um, yeah, don't come. David Sincere is somebody else, he loves the love, though. You know what I'm saying? You still show him love, but that ain't me. Make sure y'all follow the right page. David Sincere Aiken is the is the one y'all need to follow, not the photographer. Uh, yo, I've had a blast uh, chatting with y'all about this cipher that the people are about to tune into and be talking about for the next couple of months. Yep, I appreciate y'all for checking in for tapping. Yeah, I'm good. Let me know everything, what's going on. Um, people, good people, please for more, subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of that good stuff and support these great artists, all and located in New York, the big apple. So if you haven't seen or heard of them yet, you will be very shortly. 